and welcome back to a new reading vlog on my channel. So I am currently filming on my iPad because I'm at my parents' place and I forgot my smartphone at home, which is really stupid. I normally film on my iPhone, but it's not like a perfect system really, but my DSLR camera is way too heavy to vlog with. So I don't know, I might really like to get a vlogging camera for one day because my iPhone storage is always full and it's really bothering me <laughs> but for now it's fine and i thought i'd try filming on my ipad for one um i recently got an ipad because i really want to get into procreate because as some of you guys already know i do a lot of illustration freelancing work and animation editing video editing uh film stuff like that um that's what i do you know for a living next to booktube what i really enjoy doing as well so i am um, I have been trying to get into Procreate and I've made my first illustration as well. I'll put it up here so you guys can see it. So yeah, I'm super excited about that, but I don't know about the video quality or the audio quality of filming with the iPad because it already seems like a really weird size, like screen size. So I'm not sure how that's going to be. <laughs> but currently me and my mom are going to go to a jewelry maker, I think, because we want to get um, rings with other family, like my sister, my mom and me. So that's really fun and a really beautiful experience, hopefully. And afterwards, we might be going to the thrift store. And I always used to do thrift shopping videos on my Dutch YouTube channel, where I talked about thrifted fashion and like vintage fashion a lot as well, because I also work part time in a vintage store. And that's also one of my hobbies, I'd say. Um, and I really want to, you know, make all those other videos again with my Dutch YouTube channel as well, but I, like, just don't have the time to do both YouTube channels, so that's something I'm, like, struggling with a little bit. I'm not sure what to do. It's not such a big deal, but it's just, like, like I, I can't do both. It's too much work. So, yeah, that's the plan for today, and then I'll be going home to Rotterdam again. I'll talk later about what I'm reading because I think me and my mom are going to head off in a bit, but I'll just say very briefly, I just finished Slay by Brittany Morris yesterday, I read it in one day, it was so good. I'll talk more about it later. And I'm currently reading Odd One Out by Nick Stone, I believe, and I'm loving this so far as well. So I'll dive into the things that I'm reading a bit more detailed later on, so yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, so I ended up not filming anything the rest of the afternoon because I sort of forgot, which is great. <laughs> Best YouTuber ever. My mom and I also ended up not going to the thrift store anymore, so that might be something for another time. I've really been wanting to go to the thrift store because I just really love it. Um, so maybe I'll have time tomorrow, but probably not. <laughs> I went back home to my apartment in Rotterdam and I am currently ready to go to my dance studio because it's finally open again for open training. So I'm going to be doing some aerials tonight and then some more reading and stuff, just relaxing for a bit. And I think I'll just, I might be drawing, I don't know. You'll see what I'll be doing. <laughs> And I think I'll pick up the rest of this vlog tomorrow and talk a bit about what I'm reading, stuff like that. But I just wanted to film this in case I would do any cool aerial tricks that I would want to involve in the vlog. So that's that. <laughs>
So I was picking Etsy orders all morning and right now I'm going to go to the post office to post the Etsy orders and I thought this was also a good moment to talk a bit to you guys about what I'm reading and what I've been reading. Haven't gotten to that yet and this is a reading vlog. <laughs> I'm getting to it now. So I've got my new iPad here. These are some lovely stickers made by my gal Brit, who just moved to Rotterdam by the way and she lives really close to me now so that's a lot of fun. That's just a little side note. I'm going to go to the app that I use for um, reading on my iPads and also for audiobooks. It's called Storytel. I think it's a European thing. I don't know, but I don't think it's available in America. But a lot of titles on there are still in English, so... I do know that there's also Storytel in Sweden because once a subscriber of mine commented and was like, Oh my god, so fun that you use Storytel because I use Storytel. And all the while I'm just here like, hey Storytel, you should sponsor me. Sponsor me please. But yeah, they're not. So this is just, you know, honestly I like Storytel. It's not that expensive, there's so many things on Storytel and a lot of times there's a lot of new titles on Storytel so everything that's hot and happening, it's there. Love that. So this is my Storytel library. There's a lot of things in there. <laughs> so currently I am reading Odd One Out by Nick Stone and before that I was reading because I really need to talk about this book so before that I was reading Slay by Brittany Morris and I really need to talk about this book because it was so good I read it in one day like one day I wasn't I was still working that day I was super busy but every free moment I had when like my exports were being made or I was rendering something I was just like reading 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 I was reading on the train I was reading everywhere <laughs> I was so excited about this book it was just mainly that it made me so it gave me the cozy feelings and like the happy feeling it just make me very the story just make me very happy and feel happy I guess <laughs> so usually I'm not that into game gamer stories I think I don't know I do have a copy of what's it called the book by Mary Lou about the gaming I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I've got that on my shelves, but I've never gotten around to reading it and I'm not really sure if I will, to be honest. But what also intrigued me about Slay is that it's, I think, important if you try to be more inclusive um, and, you know, you need to be more diverse in order to work towards inclusivity. And we as a community are very far away from it. Um, but when you have a platform, you should try to do as much as you can. I recently read an article that was about Black Joy and reading books about Black Joy as well. And this was a very joyful book. It was a happy story, even though there is lots of racism in it and there's like lots of discussion about racism. I thought it was very well done and it's not like the main point. It's also about a very smart, amazing black young girl that's living her life, that's gaming, that's developed this amazing gaming world, that's a safe space for black people. And it's just, I think that's super valuable. Of course, I cannot speak you know like my perspective is never the most important on this because I'm white but um, I as a reader I really enjoyed the book next to that I think Brittany Morris is so funny I love her writing style she's very quick she's witty it just had everything that I need in a book it had twists and turns it was just yes loved it five stars um, so after that I dived into reading Odd One Out by Nick Stone which I just showed you on the iPad I don't know. There's lots of things that I love about the book. I think mainly it's really important. Let me just tell you a bit what it's about first. It's about three friends, really. It's a love triangle, basically, but it's a very complicated love triangle because basically everybody is in love with everybody. So it's not like one girl that likes two boys, but it's just like a boy that likes two girls. The girls are like the boy and the girl, and, you know, it's like... Does that make sense? But it's about Courtney, Ray, and Jupiter. And Jupiter's gay, she's always known that she's gay. She's also grown up with two dads. And Courtney is straight, uh, he's a boy by the way. And um, then we have Ray, and Ray is sort of questioning. Uh, she thinks she might be into girls as well, but she thinks she's straight because she had a boyfriend before. And there's a little bit of biphobia happening in this story uh, by some of the main characters and just some things that happened that make me feel a little bit icky inside. Um, at the same time, this is really a story that is about friendship, very close friendship, but also, you know, when you're queer and you have these really close-knit friendships with females and it's just like a bit on the edge and you're not sure, are we like now, is this a thing or is this, are we very touchy because girls do that, you know, and I thought that was very valuable. I love Nick Stone's writing style, I think she's, again, also very witty and I just love, it's very fast-paced, there's like lots of things happening. One of the characters is questioning and 
um, one of the other characters later on in his story questions his sexuality as well, um, which is very valuable, I think, and a lot of the conversation is surrounding that is very valuable and valid, so this is an important book, definitely. But I don't know, there were just a few lines, like there's this one character who says she doesn't date bisexuals because they'll always go back to men or like there's enough men or she doesn't want to be like swapped in for a man or something like that and that just made me go, no, no. And also, this is a bit of a spoiler maybe, one of the girl characters definitely has feelings for the other girl and she tries to tell her and she tries to kiss her but the other girl's just like, no, you're straight and you're playing me and like, she has genuine feelings. She should have probably communicated this better um, because she didn't do that very well. But, you know, as a teen, this can be so difficult. So, I don't know. All in all, definitely a valuable story. Definitely a book I would recommend because it's a fun book. It's a queer book. It's got some female-female things going on. It's got some mixed-up relationships going on. But, I don't know. It, uh, maybe love triangles just aren't for me. I'm nearing to it's the end of the book and the love triangles really, really, really getting under my skin. <laughs> Um, but I do definitely want to read more by Nick Stone because I really love her writing style. So right now I'm going to be going to the post office and then I'm going to be doing some animation work and some other feelings and stuff. I also want to show you guys some new cool sticker sheets that I got because I'm going to be making holographic. Hi, I was interrupted because my camera quit. So if I'm at a slightly different angle, that's why. I think I am. Don't know. Anyway, what I was talking about is that I am working on more new Etsy products because for those of you guys who don't know I do have my own Etsy store where I sell bookmarks, stickers and everything you just saw me working on this morning. And I bought some really cool sticker paper like this glitter sticker paper so you can print like stickers on it and they will have glitters. That's basically it so it looks really cool. And I also got this holographic one so I'm going to be making holographic stickers with this one and I'm thinking of a really cool design with like a moon and a moth and some poppy flowers or something like that I'm not sure yet but I think it will be gorgeous and I'm really hyped I just wanted to show that to you guys so you all know to stay tuned for glitter and holographic stickers I think it might be a while I don't know my tote bags are also in production I'll put up a picture here if you haven't seen them yet so they're being produced right now and that's really exciting because I've been wanting to sell tote bags to you guys since I started my Etsy really, but I never got around to it. And I'm also working on pins and I'll be able to show you guys a little preview later on in the vlog. Um, Cause those are also being produced at the moment. So that's really cool. Right now I'm going to have some lunch and then afterwards I'm going to the post office and then I'll be animating and doing freelance work for the rest of the day probably. I'm done animating for the day and I just redid my makeup because I had to film a little video for the Dutch Royal Library which I work for. Right now I'm going to relax a bit and read for a bit and then my friend is going to come over to make vegetarian burgers. <clears throat> I've kind of lost my voice it appears but I'm super hyped and yay. By the way I'm almost finished with Odd One Out by Nick Stone and I'm I'm just done with this book. Like I said before, there were so many things that I loved about it, but now the love triangle is really getting on my nerves. So, yeah, just wanted to get that out there. <laughs> I really enjoyed the first half of the book. I, I think like two thirds of the book even, but now it's just too much love triangle. Maybe love triangles are just not my thing. Don't know. <laughs> guys it's the next morning and I just finished Odd One Out by Nick Stone whilst laying in bed and reading for a bit which is just the perfect way to start your day to be honest. I did actually I was surprised with the way it wrapped up and I like it a bit better now I think. Not sure it needs to sink in a bit. I do really like Nick Stone's writing so I'm definitely thinking of reading her other books. I want to read Dear Martin really bad because I've heard 
such good things about it. Afterwards, I started again in Hollow of It's Immensa, which is a Dutch book about racism by Anusha Nazume, who's amazing. Um, this is a really great book. And then whilst I was reading this, I already read this once for school. I'm rereading it now in light of the current events so I can educate my family better um, and my friends. I was reading this and then I got attended by a friend uh, to this article that was posted to the university magazine page of the of the college I went to school to um, and this article you guys it was so bad it was full of like it was about Black Lives Matter written by a white guy who was basically like I never see racism so it isn't real the whole article was just basically a lot of whataboutism and all lives matter um, so I posted a bit about it on my Instagram story and then I decided I really really need to make new highlights for my Instagram story so I can share my activism better, like more organised and people can look back at it but also looks aesthetic. I know that's like less important but <laughs> I like when it looks beautiful. I've been on Pinterest looking through different highlights for inspiration and I think I'm gonna design highlights for a bit before I get out of bed and into freelance work because it's early anyway. I was awake really early because it's very warm in the Netherlands right now. Um, so yeah, that's my morning so far and I really, really need to do the laundry and clean the house. Also have a lot of animation work to get to, so it's a busy day, but it'll be fine. Um, I really also hope I can finally get started on the holographic stickers, but probably not. Um, so yeah, that's a lot for today. Uh, and I also want to read a bit more in this book because it's I'm, I'm really gripped by it. It's so interesting and it's also very, it's such a good book. It's so well written. Um, I was also listening to the audiobook, um, So You Want to Talk About Race, but... Um, I've put that aside for a bit because I want to finish this one first. But it's definitely like a good recommendation if you want to read about racism and you don't speak Dutch. <laughs> and you're not from Holly. Because this is mostly, this is like, it has a lot of like information about implicit racism and explicit racism as well. But it's like catered to Holland. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get on with my life now and design some beautiful story highlight covers. <laughs> I did my makeup and I put a little t-shirt underneath my dress because I thought I was a bit nude for the weather. <laughs> I made myself ready, I did all my work, I even did the laundry and I cleaned the kitchen and now I'm ready to go to Brit because Brit, my friend Brit, um, you might know her from her YouTube channel, basically Brit, she moved to Rotterdam and she lives very close to me now which is just very fun. So I'm going over there and we're going to cook and have dinner together so I'm super hyped. So yeah. That's what I'm going to be doing now. We are right in time. Now we're both sides of the line. Now we're both sides of the line. No mistakes will run like you. No one knows me as well as you do. No one knows me as well as you do. I saw her new apartment, it is super cute, and we had dinner together, and I cycled home, and oh my god, it was raining, as you can see, I'm like, my whole dress, everything is wet. <laughs> my writing course, I'm following a writing course, I might tell a bit about it later on, don't know, 
Um, I'm following a writing course and it is starting in five minutes so I'm going to freshen up a little bit and change because I want to be dry and warm <laughs> and then I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and start my writing course so yeah. Friday today and I just wanted to wrap up this vlog. Uh, my writing course went really well yesterday and I had a lot of fun with bits as well so that was great really and I also <laughs> I've been wanting these note blocks from Brit's Etsy shop for such a long time. They're both so pretty. Look! This one is so cute. So yeah I'm really happy because I love note blocks and making small notes and to-do lists and stuff on pretty blocks so yay me, yay Brit, thank you. And then I also got this package in the mail and this is from Troy Nicole's, aka Ink Blur Studios Etsy shop. And I bought some buttons from her, so I'm really excited to go open this right now. And we were so supportive of each other because she also bought some stuff from my Etsy shop, so that's a lot of fun. Oh, it's stuck! I might need scissors, actually. Okay, I got scissors. And I opened it. I did it. Exciting! Oh, that is so cute! Look how cute. There's a cat in here. I don't know why, but it's really cute. <laughs> so she's got one with all the social media. Definitely check her out. I'll link everything down below as well. And a little note. Thank you so much. And now the pins. They are so pretty. I love them. I'll take some close-ups later, but I basically got one with a moon on it. I got one that says growth means admitting you were once wrong. And I got one that says protect black futures and black anger matters. And I just wanted to support her. And these are also so cute and we love some good activist buttons. <laughs> Probably going to put these on my backpack. As you can see, I've already got some pins and buttons on there. I've got a Winnie the Pooh button. I've got a pin that says a reader lives a thousand lives and this is so pretty. I got this from my sister. I got one from Brighton and I also got a button from Nocturna, the book, which I haven't read, but I do have the button. I got it at a publisher's event, so that's why I've got that. So I'm definitely going to put these on my backpack and I'm going to look so cute. Yay. Thank you. So as for reading and wrapping the vlog up, I am currently still in the midst of Hollow Bits Bitter Mensa by Anusha Nozume, which is really good. But, you know, most of you probably don't speak Dutch anyway. Um, but, yeah, if you do, check this out. It's really good. And I have also started Witches of Ash and Rune by Iletima. I took the dust jacket off because I didn't want to ruin it. And I'm using Brit's really pretty bookmark. It's still... In oh, fuck, I forgot to put it in. I forgot to put it in there, which is really stupid. But this is also really pretty. <laughs> this is basically gay witches, and I think it's also enemies to lovers. The romance that's in there, and it's in Ireland, I think. And yeah, it's it's really good so far, but I'm only like five pages in, so I <laughs> don't have a lot to say about it, really. So with that, I want to wrap up this reading vlog. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and definitely don't forget to check out some of the Black Lives Matter things I'll leave in the description down below, because Black Lives will always matter. And yeah, definitely let me know what you thought of this vlog, and what sort of content you want to see on my channel further on, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!